the 90 minutes that I wasted watching England against Czech Republic, I will never see again. Therefore, until England draw a big team in the round of 16, I'm not watching them again, bruv, because it is very boring football. I'll be right. I know he's getting results, so you can't really complain, yeah, but I know against a very good footballing team, he will get slapped, bruv. Man like Southgate will get slapped about. I know he will. And this is the squad that he's got in real life. This is a European special. You get me? You know you know the ones there. So yeah, man's going to um look at the team that he's got in real life and analyse them just the way I do. You get me? But yeah, um, let's get straight into the video. First, we've got championship fodder. Relegation fodder. Sam Johnstone, bruv. Got relegated with West Brom, but you can't really blame the guy. When I look at his stats, though, I'm not going to lie. For a goalkeeper defend, a good backup one, he's actually a good backup one. I'll be real, 16 reflexes, 15 agility, and 14 one ones is not a bad goalkeeping pivot at all, bruv. In terms of jumping, 16 jump and reach, 14 air reach as well. So he does look like he could play the part for a third choice. Decent backup goalkeeper, I'll be real. Man like relegation for the Sam Johnstone looking. Out of all of England's goalkeepers, I do believe Jordan Pickford is the most suitable choice to be the number one. The reason why is because of that Premier League experience that he brings. I know there is Dean Henderson, but I don't think he's been selected, unfortunately for him, unless it's injury or he's just not favoured. But um, out of all of them, I do believe Jordan Pickford is the right one for the job. Now, in the game, in game, 16 reflexes, 16 agility and 51 ones is very good. Don't get that twisted. That's a very good pivot. However, Man sees that his natural role in duty is sweeper keeper support. In order to play a support role, you do need to be competent on the ball and under pressure. And as you can see, man has got 10 composure, 10 passing. 11 first touch for me he is not a sweeper keeper on support he will get pressurised and he will lose the ball bruv so definitely a sweeper keeper defender because that is playing to the guy's strengths bruv you get me but yeah overall man like Jordan Pickford he gets a lot of criticism I personally don't agree with it when he's got an England shirt on when he's got an Everton shirt on I don't really watch them but yeah um, they are the new rivals but anyway anyway man like Jordan Pickford he's a good player still and lastly for the goalkeepers we've got man like Aaron Ramsdale one thing that I bet you didn't know um, because I didn't know myself yeah listen man used to play for Sheffield United originally I didn't even know that. Then they sold him to Bournemouth for 800k. And instead of being smart and putting a buyback clause, they probably didn't. And they got pumped for their money, paying more than quadruple the price back for him, which is 18.5 million. Bruv, what mugs? You are Sheffield United. And you're relegated as well. Dickheads. Anyway, anyway. Oh, wait. That's another championship for them. <laughs> wait. There's two championships for the goalkeepers. Where's Nick Pope? Where is Dean Henderson? I don't know what's going on with Southgate. What is he doing? Unless it's injury. That's the only thing I'll understand. But anyway, anyway, man's got 14 agility, 15 reflexes and 15 one -on ones in game. That is a good goalkeeping pivot. Um, I do believe that in real life, someone will sign him. It might be Arsenal. It might be, I don't know who it will be, but I know a big team will sign him in the Premier League. And one thing that you have to understand is that he's only 22. He's providing new value now and he's improving at the same time. So yeah, man like Aaron Ramsdale, he is a good goalkeeper. Don't get to it. He is just championship fodder. Bruv, that's why the man got relegated. And we've got the first outfield player, man, like Harry Maguire. He has to forever pay his respects to the England national team because that's the team that gave him a career, bruv. Are you mad, bruv? Are you mad? They gave him a career. I don't care what no one says. If he never scored that header, Man United would have never signed him. And if you look back at it, I will laugh right now. Listen, they really signed Maguire because he scored a header. If you think about it, because that's the reason why his name got so much weight put on it, like so much respect put on it, because he scored a header. I remember it as well. Man scored like one or two headers in like England colours and then everyone's just chatting shit about him and then that gets him bought for 80 million. If you don't believe me, I'll show you right now. 80 million British pounds, yeah. Man got bought with that because because of a header, yeah. And and don't get twisted, he did not win the Champions, um, the, the Premier League with Leicester. That was not him. He was at Hull at the time, bruv, but he did get a move to Leicester. And then 80 million to Man United. But anyway, all of that aside now, Harry Maguire is a good player. I'll be real. Like, um, I know I might have said in his pre in the player ratings, the updated ones, he's scared to leave the line. And I'm not going to lie. I might have to take that one back still because against Czech Republic, he just kept on picking up the ball and driving forward with the ball. And as you can see, he's got the traits, runs with ball through centre. It all makes sense. Now, after actually watching him playing, yeah, it makes sense. I'll be real. Like, I've only watched him get skinned. I'll be real. So that's why my perception was a bit off. But don't forget, at the end of the day, it is all perception. What I'm saying is not factual statements. Understand that. But anyway, anyway, man, like, hey, my God, look at the stats in, um, in the game, yeah? 13, 10, 13, I mean, 12 vision and 13 passing is a good pivot. First touch, 13, composure, 15. He's slow. Man's got 10 acceleration, 9 agility. So in game, he will get split, bruv. Like, he will. But 
the thing that I respect about him is that at least he knows where to be in it. Like, at least he's slow, but he knows where to be. Unlike some people that are slow and they don't know where to be. Lump of shit on the pitch, but at least he's not a lump of shit. At least he's providing value, bruv. Now, um, 16 jump reach, 17 heading. That's what he's known for heading. It's probably the clearances. Like, heading in terms of defensive headers is what he's probably known for, not the attacking ones. But anyway, 16 tackling is very good as well. And that is what I can really say about Harry Maguire, man. I spoke about him so many times. Let's just move on. John Stones is another one. Um, and he's probably one of the most complete centre-backs I have ever seen in this game, bruv. The only thing you really can't do is head of the ball with accuracy. And that's only under, under average by one. If you was to double the intensity that, man will definitely get that to 14. Then you have to put like, some serious respect on his name because look at the pivot man's a centre back with 14 technique 14 vision and 15 passes that's a pivot better than a lot of midfielders respect the guy's name anyway 14 pace 13 agility and 14 acceleration you can't really skin him for pace you definitely can't skin him for pace because he's got as much pace as usually the attackers do that's very good pace man's got 15 strength as well yeah and he's got 16 tackling so man's getting back and he's making that that key challenge and it's not even like he's giving away a penalty because with 16 tackling more time you're getting the ball you get me now anyway man's got 17 composure as well so under pressure he's imper i don't even know if the impermeable is the right word but i'm gonna say it anyway i don't give a shit bruv listen man's impermeable under pressure bruv like man's man's just amazing under pressure listen he, he's amazing under pressure like, man, man like john stones yeah i respect this guy very highly one of the most complete center backs i've ever seen in this game let's all right next we've got man like ben white another solid defender he is 22 providing you value now and improving at the same time now for england I have not seen him feature. Maybe it's just me. I just haven't seen him feature for England yet. But the value that he will bring is under pressure. He's very similar to someone like John Stones, where he's got every he he can literally do anything apart from head the ball, literally, and and be a bit you know stronger. But that's not really in his control. He's only twenty two. If he was to double intensity, that that's definitely rising anyway. But yeah, man's got a very similar pivot to John Stones. But anyway, I'm not even going to compare him. But that's the person that I would compare him to if I was comparing. But anyway, fourteen technique, thirty vision, and fourteen passing is a very good pivot 15 tackling he's got good movement as well 14 pace 13 agility and 13 acceleration man can get back and he's winning the ball more time as well and he's got 14 first touch 14 composure so under pressure once again man is very good under pressure like another good ball playing defender that i'll definitely make that my partnership and when i've done it like this at least i know i can line them up now so now i can show you how i would line up england and these are definitely going to be my center back partnership still let's move Oh, and it's got my like Tyrone Mings. That's the literally the last player ratings I've done. He was featured in that because it was Aston Villa. And obviously what I said about Tyrone Mings in game is true. Like his stats look phenomenal. Like you wouldn't expect what I'm about to say because his stats look so good. But in game, he's very lapsy daisy. It's a lack of concentration sometimes. I don't know what it is, but he just does the dumbest things under pressure, bruv. I know he's got 15 composure, but you would never understand that when you watch him play in game. But in real life, He's kind of the same thing, but he's better in real life than he is in game for affecting it because man's in the England squad playing for Aston Villa. You have to respect that still. Like, man's, man's the guy still. Like, he's, he's a very solid defender in real life. Um, I can't even say he's like over rash or he overdoes the ball playing thing. He's, he's a nice balance between the two and he's got physical presence as well and he's mad tall, good movement. Like, he's a very good defender in real life as well. And I'm going to really be focusing on the real life thing because it is a Euro special. Man like Tyrell Mings in real life is good in my personal personal opinion still but yeah overall Tyrell Mings if you want a proper in-depth analysis on him then just go to the Aston Villa player range you already know what it is all right next we've got man like Kyle Walker now you can um see in the Man City player ratings what I said which was I did not expect his going forward ability to be that poor like I thought he would have a much better cross than 11 like come on Kyle Walker I thought his crossing would be way better than 11. I know he's got mad sprint speed and acceleration, which is both 18. Like he's mad in terms of movement. Um, 16 work rate, um, what's the determination? 13 aggression, 12. No, he, he just works. So I can't really call him a passion match. He just works hard. Four fullback, he's strong as well. I've seen him slide in, like, in the back three on the right-hand side of the back three playing as a centre-back, which is a very good idea. Like If he was to play a back three, you could put him on the, on the right on a um, centre-back thing. But yeah, 13 tackling is decent. And it's one of them players where if I was to take away his pace he'll be a bang average footballer I'm deep in that now like look at it imagine you cover up his pace 
he's a bang average right back. Like 13 tackling, 13 techniques, 11 vision, 13 passing, 13 dribbling, 11 crossing. You have to put him on fullback defence so he doesn't get split if he didn't have pace. But he's got pace, so that's the, probably the only reason why. What's the first touch? 13? Now I can't even say that he knocks the ball past the opponent because of his dead first touch. But yeah, overall, man, like Kai Walker, in-game he's very good. Like I don't really know if he's got 11 crossing in-game Like if I'm watching him. But in real life, he definitely doesn't have 11 crossing. It has to be better than that, let's all right, next we've got my like Kieran Trippier, bruv. Man went abroad and won the league. You have to respect that, bruv. Like, personally, I don't know what team he used to play for, mainly because they're that irrelevant. Let me just show you what I'm talking about, yeah. Mainly because that team he used to play for is that irrelevant. I don't know who they really are, but listen... Over there, Mal was whipping it as well. Let's be real. I think he was playing for that team at the time when he scored that free kick. I think so. But um, yeah, man's, man's like one of them fullbacks that just cross first. You know, like how Trent Alexander Arnold is another one that is a cross first kind of player. He's the exact same thing. Kieran Trepia, under pressure, 15 composure, 14 technique, 30 vision, and 13 passing. If you wanted to, like, same way with Trent, you could probably ask him to slide into the midfield. Like, he could do a little job as a little, I don't know, deep flying playmaker, maybe just holding on to the ball but his main speciality as you can see one of the highest things on his attribute card is his crossing like just behind work rate and stamina and that's by a one in it so yeah that just shows you and he gets full whenever possible in tight spaceless he is useless in tight spaces and that's because he's got 11 dribbling but man's got a mad delivery still so yeah if harry kane was actually like switched on man could definitely get a lot of goals if trippier was playing right back and he and he has that connection whipping the ball but yeah overall man like kieran trippier he's a good player for what he does bro all right next we've got connor cody and that's another very good ball playing defender you can see where i'm going with this like i don't think you would need to if you did have one you would need to play a no nonsense defender because they're all so good under pressure and playing out from the back that you wouldn't need a no nonsense defender if you had one bruv but yeah man like connor cody another one look at the pivot 15 technique 50 vision and 15 passing that's probably the best pivot out of all of them like that pivot is amazing bruv under pressure 15 composure um, the decisions aren't really that great. I don't really talk about decisions, but yeah, very good anticipation as well. Um, makes the rap. He's whoa, he's got good positioning as well. Um, the only thing about him is that physically he's not really that strong or fast, so he can get targeted physically, like on a little defensive thing. Man can definitely get targeted still, but um, he's got good positioning. It might help him help him out a little bit. But yeah, overall, man like Connor Cody, he will be a squad player, but he's a very, very, very good one. I'll give him that, bruv. He's actually really good still, man like Connor Cody, bruv. Oh, and let's got my like Declan Rice, probably the future England captain. You heard it here first. Watch that, bruv. Like, watch him. In the future, he'll probably be the England captain still. But yeah, um, surprisingly, in game, his pivot is not as good as I would have expected it to be, which is only 12 technique, 13 vision, 13 pass, which is a bang average pivot. You might already know that pivot is bang bang average, bruv. 12 first touch as well. 15 anticipation is good. It's, it's mentally. That's what separates him. That's what brings him into the England squad because mentally he's years ahead of his time bruv like if Jordan Henderson wasn't fit if the current England captain wasn't fit he's definitely going to be up there for like the next one to fill in because mentally as you can see man's got 17 composure um, 15 anticipation like mad positioning for his age he's only 21 and he's already possessing stats like this the future mentally for him worrying as fuck in a very good way like I can't even lie like he's really good mentally bruv um, physically once again I would have expected him to be stronger but he's not he's only 21 if he was the double intensity that you could definitely get it to where it should be but yeah overall um, he claims tireless defensive midfielder um, surprising it's very surprising because I think he's actually really good like at passing when I'm looking, him at, looking at him in real life but he's um, He's looking like a destroyer here. Like he's looking like he's gonna be running around, kicking man's legs and trying to just pass it like in that way rather than being like good under pressure. But then again, he actually is very good under pressure. It's very confusing with this guy. I can't lie. I think I'm just gonna to have to wait and see what he de develops into into in this game. Like in, for the next um for example, for the next um update, that's that's what I'm looking for still. Like an improved pivot in this guy, I'll be real. But yeah, in real life. Man, what, what's the analogy that I said? Man's like a very young guy in an old man's body or the other way around. I don't know how I said it, but it's that's what I mean, bruv. Like, man's just years ahead of his development. Man like Declan Rice. Next, we've got man like Reese James, bruv, who a lot of people have put a lot more respect on his name when they watched him in that Champions League final pocket his teammate Raheem Sterling. Listen, we're just going to look at his um, loan history quickly. Actually, you can't even do that, but one of my Chelsea friends told me that when he was on loan, he got player of the month for every month, bruv, which is, it's phenomenal. Let's be real, that's phenomenal, bruv. Um, in real life, he's ridiculous. I don't know why he wasn't playing right back yesterday. He was playing right back, Kyle Walker. 
I can't really, no, 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 I can't lie. Reese James for me has to be the right back for England still, I'll be real. Like the way physically, he's he's just, he's only 20 and physically he's already like, I don't even know the word, but he's just mad physically, bruv. Um, 14 pace, 12 agility, which is not that great, but man's got 15 acceleration, 16 strength. So what, like I said before, any person that's got over 16 strength has got a force field in this game. And man's got a force field, bruv. Like man's just henching man off when he's not even actually touching them. It's got it's got to that point, bruv. But yeah, in real life, we've seen physically that man can slide in as a centre-back as well. Um, tackling will improve in future. Um, some of the decisions as well, I did see him jump when he didn't need to jump that almost cost his team in the Champions League final. Um, things like that will improve. He is only 20, so he has a lot of time. And one thing that I didn't even mention, that's his main speciality, is going forward, his delivery is insane, bruv. Don't forget he is only 20. That will definitely improve as well. So yeah, he's a player that's just like the others, who's providing value now and improving at the same time, which is only a win-win. Man like Reese James, very good player still. Now, I was having a chat with my uncle. Shout out my un my uncle, yeah? Man, man was talking about Luke Shaw and how Tellers has been the catalyst for this guy. And he told me that, because I haven't really seen him beforehand, in it? Like, I wasn't really paying attention to Luke Shaw because of a big injury that he had, in it? But I was told that before that injury, he was better than he is now because apparently he got his leg broken in two places. He had to recover and now he's going, trying to look back to like how he was before. But I heard that he was better before. But if that's true, madness, bruv. I never even knew that. But yeah, listen, man like Luke Shaw apparently was one of, one of the most expensive left backs at the time. And I'm looking at the quality. He has got quality. I'll be real. There was one point when man was ge genuinely like thinking, how is this guy a footballer? Like, look at the size of him as a footballer. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing, bruv? Like, man's been going too ham. In McDonald's, bruv. Like, man's been going too ham still. But um, I can't lie. Like, Tellers is definitely that catalyst still. For England, he's looking decent as well. Um, He's he's a good player. I'll be real. Like, he's actually got a footballing ability that I didn't think he had. He's actually got one. Like, he's got, he's got a first touch. He can actually dribble. I'll put the dribbling higher. Going forward, I'll put it higher as well. Free kick taking. I, thought, I swear he's taking corners for Man United as well. He, he's a good player. I'll be real. Man's got good strength as well. I don't know if it's strength. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 15 pace, 15 engineer, 14 acceleration is a good movement. Uh, mentally, it's good as well. In game, he's decent. In real life, he's very, very good in real life, currently speaking. But yeah, let's... Um, obviously, as an ex-rival fan, man didn't want this guy to do well. I'll be real. But he is doing well. So you can't really like fault him for it. You have to only respect him for what he's doing, man. Like Luke Shaw, bro. All right, next you got man like Ben Chilwell, bro. I don't know what happened with him and um, whoever else it was. Why they weren't playing the other day, I don't know what happened. But um, do I agree with him being England's number one left back? Luke Shaw, for me, I have to be real, is the best um, left back in my opinion. I know Chilwell is good. Don't get twisted. He's a good left back. But um, I think Luke, Luke Shaw is just a bit, you know, just a slightly bit better going forward a little bit for me personally. But yeah, um, when I look at um, Chilwell's card now, He's, he's he's looking a bit, you know, you know what, you know what, you know what, 16 pace, 14 agility, 15 acceleration is good movement. Mad dribbling, which is 15, um, not really the best flair, 16 work rate, 14 determination, 12 aggression, he's got a bit of grit about him. 12 technique, 12 vision and 12 passing is a decent pivot, 13 first touch. He's decent going forward, like he's got a decent delivery as well. Defensively, he's 13 tackling, which is DC, he's only 23, it could improve. Well, not the tackling, because you can't improve tackling directly. But crossing can definitely improve though, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, bro. But yeah, man like Ben Chilwell, um, personally, in the game, I wouldn't put him England number one. In real life, it's a very hard decision, but I'm not the manager. That's up to Southgate to make that decision still. But personally, I'll put Luke Shaw there instead, let's be. All right, next you've got my like Jordan Henderson. Now, I don't know how Southgate uses him, but personally, I will make him a deep playing playmaker still. Um, if I am the England boss, I'm making him a deep playing playmaker. I don't know if he's a box to box or deep playing playmaker in real life, but that's what I would do. Reason why, man's got the pivot for it 14, 10, 8, 14 vision, and 15 passing, but mainly because mentally, He's probably completed football mentally in this game. Like as you can see, it's averaging a green number, which is 16 and above. Like man's got 16 composure, decisions is 15, anticipation is 16. He's probably completed the mental game of football. Like he's ridiculous mentally. Um, mad work rate, mad determination, mad aggression as well. So he's also a cheerleader as well, as we all know. He is the cheerleader, bruv. Man is definitely England's captain, bruv. For a fact, he has to be, bruv. Like, 19 leadership, he has to be. Um, I even saw him score a disallow goal yesterday. Get on side, mate. But anyway, 14 pace, 30 energy and 30 acceleration is decent movement. I mean, yeah, for a midfield, that's actually calm as well. In the role that I'll play him, he doesn't even need that movement, but at least he's got it in it. But yeah, 15 strength is good as well. Overall, man, just a mental 
madness, bruv. That's what he is in a very good way. So yeah, man like Jordan Henderson. Don't get twisted. In this game, he can play box to box. I'm just talking about real life, innit? Man, I'll put him as a deep player and playmaker in real life, see? And next, we've got man like Calvin Phillips, bruv. And Calvin Phillips, yeah, after watching him, like, for quite a while now, man seemed like he's not one of them guys that are, like, a side dish. He's not really a main dish either, in no disrespectful manner. He's a combo meal, bruv. Like, man's just that guy that you get a number five for. Like, what I mean by this is man can do everything. Like, man got everything with him. Like, the drink, the fries, and the burger itself. Man's got it all, bruv. Like, man's got the strength, the mental ability, and oh, I was going to say technical ability. It's under average by one, but give him time. He's got mad execution, though. Trust me, he does, bruv. Look at him, though. Man like Calvin Phillips, the only thing he can't really do is shoot from close range, which is 10 finishing. That's that's good. obviously going to improve. He's only 24 now. Man's, uh, I can't say he's eligible, eligible to play for the under-23s because he really isn't, but still, he's still young. Like Man's a young guy. Man like Calvin Phillips, in real life, he's doing his thing. He was playing yesterday as well for a good reason. Like Man's, man's a good player still for Leeds. Man's only been at Leeds for what I know. And and just just double check, he actually has only been at Leeds. Respect, man. Like man's a one club man. Man is definitely a one club man. I will never see. I don't think I'll ever see this guy leave um, Leeds. I don't think I will, bruv. And I don't really blame him. Like Leeds are on the horizon. What's what's the word? The the rise, not the horizon. The rise, bruv. But yeah, um, mentally, like I said before, like oh my god, look at all of that. That's all above what fourteen. Like that's amazing, bruv. Um, down here as well, fourteen, fifteen. Like man wasn't lying when I said it, bruv. Man was not lying still. But yeah, overall. Man like Calvin Phillips, he's a very good player still. Like, I respect this guy very high. All right, next we've got man like Bukayo Saka, bruv. Now, um, obviously, as an ex-Arsenal fan, you know, I always say that because it's true. You get me? Um, I support the youngsters, innit? Like, I don't support the club. I only support the youth players that I want to do well. For example, Smith Rowe, I support him. Martinelli, I support him. Bukayo Saka, I support him. And my lord, yeah, he's a very good player, I'm like, man, no. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think... Out of England's like front three in that position, man is the only left footed attacker. I think he is. Like when I'm actually thinking about it, I think he's the only left footed like attacker going forward. So if that's the case, expect to see more of him in it because I know Southgate wants inverted wingers. He is that left footed winger that can cut inside. And as you saw yesterday, He's a good player, innit? Like, that's for the world to see. Now, we already knew, like, over here, innit? But that's for the world to see, you get me? But, yeah, um... For, oh, wait, I forgot about Foden. For fuck's sake, Foden! But, listen, listen, anyway, anyway. 14 technique for vision and 12 passing is a very good pivot. Like, it's... Okay, now, nah, I'm not going to lie. That's that's decent for his age. He's only 18 in game. I know he's 19 in real life, yeah. Um, 13 first touch is good as well. Um, but, but mainly for Saka, all it is is picking up the ball and driving. That's what it looks like in this game with 15 pace, 15 agility and, 40, and 18 acceleration. 14 balance, 15 dribbling and 14 crossing. Mad execution in terms of crossing. Good flair as well. He's a development card. I'm not even going to talk about this guy too much. If you want if you want to hear me talk about him like a lot, then go to my Arsenal update your player ratings in it. That's what I'm going to say, bruv. Because man like Saka, in real life, he's showing you what he can do in it. And he's got that versatility as well. Expect to see more of him still. All right, next we got man like Phil Foden, bruv. Um, that's the Premier League's best young player, I believe. Like the one that's under the age of 23, in my opinion. I think he is still. Um, I, um, that's my opinion in it. But yeah, I'm thinking. I was just thinking for a sec. But yeah, anyway, man like Phil Foden, yeah, years ahead of his development. Like the way he just moves the ball, the dribbling, the finishing ability, passing ability. I know he's dyed his hair blonde. I know he's dyed his hair blonde. That's his personal decision, bruv. Whether we agree with that or not, that's his decision. But yeah, 15 pace, 17 agility and 15 acceleration is very good movement as well. He's just a mad player in it. Apparently, he's a natural cam. That's one thing I didn't expect and I thought he was a natural left wing. Maybe it's Pep Guardiola. But yeah, very versatile as well. I think he is um, another... No, he is the other um, left-footed attacker going forward. Like, I think there's only two from my memory in it. But yeah, man like Foden, him and Saka... Going up like they're they're moving together like going up go, going up together in it but yeah man um, man like Foden very good player still I know I said he needs a lot of chances to score um a decent amount of goals for the course of a season and and I still stand by what I said bro in a Manchester City shirt that is definitely facts but for some reason when he's got that England shirt on it's like he swapped boots with Kane or something like man knows where the goal is for some reason like he does in it but yeah man like Raheem Sterling um, man stands by what I said in it but yeah in in game now 17 pace 19 agility and acceleration you do not fuck with that pace he will split you like man's definitely going to skin you with that still 16 dribbling and 16 flair he's got the ability to definitely embarrass you on live TV still definitely bro no um, 15 to 8 30 and 30 passing is a very good pivot as well with 14 first touch 18 anticipation 20 off the ball 
this guy, like that's why he gets into a lot of good positions. That's why he gets a lot of chances because he knows where to be at least in it. So yeah, um, as long as he's got those Harry Kane shooting boots on, he will be a good player. Like that's all I can really say in it. As long as he's got those boots on, he will be a good player still. Man like Raheem Sterling. All right, next we've got man like King Jack. Grealish, bruv, um, another player that featured in the Aston Villa updated player range. If you, if you haven't seen that, check that one out, bruv. That's that's where man talks about him in a lot of depth right now. I'm not going to do that because I've done it already in one of my most recent videos. But yeah, um, very quickly in real life, thank God man seeing him playing in it because that player is fucking special, man. Like He's just elegant with the ball. Man's got the physical presence to back up the elegance and it's just a mad combination, but it's beautiful at the same time, man. I think he got an assist yesterday as well, just to back up my point, man. This is who should have been playing for a long time, but at least he's getting his fair due right now, isn't it? Man, like Jack Grealish, very good, very, very, very good player. I know before I compared this guy to the Brainer, it sounds mad, but it's true, like, it's actually true, and I'm not gonna say because you have to think about the levels in it. The Bruyne in levels will be a num like a level ten. This guy will be like a six or a seven in it because he's still like learning his craft. But what I mean about the comparison with the Bruyne is how the Bruyne has got the mad engine to back up his technical ability, and that's the same with Mason Mount. Look at his work rate, bruv. That will speak for itself in it. Look at his stamina. That will speak for itself and he's got the technical ability and the passing execution to back it up as well. He does actually know where the goal is from short and long range. I know it only says 12 long shots, but let's be real in real life. It's better than 12, bruv. Free kick taken. He's got, he's very similar to the Brenner. Like he really is. He's only 21. And if I had to like rate like one of Chelsea's players, one of the highest, it would definitely be Mason Mount. Sounds mad, but it's true Like for me, isn't it? He's a very good player. I can't even lie. Like at first, maybe man might not have rated him as much as I do now, but I've seen him like play live, and I can actually see how much a, a really good player Mason Mount is still. For the Manchester United fans wondering, is he gonna provide me value? Is he gonna provide my team value on that right wing? I will be honest with you guys. He will provide value, but he's still a left winger though. And don't get it twisted. He is a left winger. He does want to cut inside with his head up. And try and play make from cutting inside and then roaming into that camp position in it. That's what Jaden Sancho is all about. And as a right winger, he can do the same thing. But obviously, it's not going to really be as effective as it would be cutting inside from the left. So if you did buy him, I would not be surprised if you did play him on the left. And then you put someone like Rashford on the right hand side. I'll explain that in further detail when I do Rashford. But right now, we'll talk about Jaden Sancho on that left hand side. Man, I'm thinking, who do they put ahead of him on the left for England? It's Sterling. And, and I can't really blame them for it. I mean, he's different, completely different to Sterling in terms of winger. Sterling is more of a cut inside and finesse shoot first kind of player where Jaden Sancho is more of a cut inside with his head up and try and play make kind of winger. Similar to like Saka and Martinelli, that kind of comparison. That's what it's really like, isn't it? Like one's a playmaker, one's a finisher. Not saying that Sancho can't finish because he really can, but he's more of a playmaker. As you can see, compare his pivot, yeah? to his finishing ability and his long shots and that will just speak for itself in it but your yeah, overall takes a lot of souls bruv mad agility mad flair mad dribbling he's a very good player still I did see Saka bench him last night I did see that bruv I'm not gonna like start chatting shit yeah but you might see that a bit more on that right wing because like what I just said man's not a right winger in it like he can play there but he's not a natural right winger he's a natural left winger cutting inside man at Jadon Sancho bruv now let's talk about Rashford Marcus Rashford will be your right winger Um, that's who should be your right winger unless you want to put Diallo there but personally man would put Rashford on the right wing still like let me tell you why Look, listen, listen. I know mentally in this game it doesn't look as bad as it is in real life. <laughs> I'll be real. Mentally in real life, he's not really that that great, real really in it. Like he's got mad pace in a straight line. And if you want to simplify a young player's game, all you have to do is put their right, like their strong foot on the side that they're on. For example, a right foot player on the right hand side, a left foot player on the left hand side. Just tell them to run in a straight line, simplify their game. And Rashford can still run in a straight line and bang it across goal. Don't get it twisted. He can. He's got mad shot power. He can definitely do that. I know he likes to cut inside and bang it but he would probably be more effective sounds mad but true he would probably be more effective on that right hand side still not just for England but for Man United too not just for Man United but for England too like man might will be more effective on that right hand side in my opinion still but yeah um in game like man's that he's just that guy that will miss the easy chances and then bang the hard ones that's what he is and in real life too like I've seen him against Arsenal 
just dribble away from the goal. Like, man could have scored and he just dribbled away. Like, that's the kind of player he is. He's got a good pass and execution. Like, I'll probably say long passing is what that what made that 14. But yeah, overall, man like Marcus Rashford, I know he comes off the bench now, but um, if you did want to really change your game, I'll probably tell him to like, if I was like Rashford's friend in it, I'll tell him to change his game and put it on the right. That's what I'll do still, man like Marcus Rashford, bro. I've done tens of saves, bruv. I've done over 10, 15, 20, 30 saves, bruv, like for my time in Football Manager. And every time I've seen Jude Bellingham, like in a future save, yeah, this guy is averaging about 14, 15. And he's only 17 now, averaging about 13. So it's definitely true in it. Like I've seen it with my own two eyes. I'm not lying to you guys in it. Like he definitely averages about 14, 15 in the future. And that's not even past the age of 25. That's about 23. Like it's mad, bruv. But yeah, man, like Jude Bellingham, Mad player, like we all saw his his ability against uh, Man City in it. Like he's shown what he's about, bruv. Like, man, man's got it about him still. Very good player, bruv. They rested his shirt as well at the age of about 16, 17. And it's probably for a good reason. Man's the youngest player to probably ever play for England, I think. I don't know if that's a factual statement or not, but I think it might be still. But yeah, overall, man like Jude Bellingham, yeah, 14 pace, 14 agility, 14 acceleration in game is very good movement. Good dribbling as well. He's probably going to be either a Mazzella or an advanced playmaker when I press this midfield button. What is it going to be? I'm a Zala, bruv. I'm too good at this shit. But yeah, overall, man like, man like Jubel and he's a good player. All right, it's got man like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, bruv. Very good striker. I've seen him getting linked with Arsenal. Um, that that will be a good signing for them. Can't lie. Like, you could take away, like, Aubameyang and, and put him there. I'll be real. It'll probably make a bit more sense as well. He's probably better suited to um the football that that ex... Um, I mean, that fake manager wants to play in it. But yeah, overall... Man's, man's a good striker though, like, don't get it twisted, man, like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, like, if Kane was to get injured, and, and even with him fit, I'll probably put Calvert-Lewin there right now, the way the guy's playing, I'll be real, like, this Kane guy, I don't know what's going on, but I'll prefer Calvert-Lewin right now, I'll be real, because for some reason, in an England shirt, that guy's just, I don't know where it is, but anyway, anyway, man, like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, 16, 16 strength, 15 pace, full energy and 16 elevation is very good, like, physicals, um, man in the air is what makes him, like, a, a threat in it, because man's jumping, like really high and he's actually directing headers as well like it's scary bruv he can shoot on ground as well mad pace mad off the ball movement like man was getting coached by Ancelotti but Ancelotti just left him in it like it's it's mad but overall man like Carvalho I don't think that will affect him too much in it but yeah overall he's a very good player still and lastly we've got man like Harry Kane bruv now what I'm seeing this guy doing for England, he hasn't always done. Because I remember, I think it was the World Cup, he got probably the golden boot or something. So this is a new thing that I'm seeing. And I'm like, why can't you play like this for Tottenham, bruv? Like, why are you doing this for your country? Why are you playing like shit for your country? But for Tottenham, you're getting the golden boot and the most assists, bruv. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, um, we already know for Tottenham, he's a madness, yeah. And for England, I don't know what's going on. It's not always been like this, like I said, isn't it? Like, he's actually been good for England in the past. But right now, I don't know what is going on. Like I said before, man gave his shooting boots to Raheem Sterling instead, bruv, because he knows his confidence was low. He was like, you know what, take those, my G. Take those, bruv, because... I don't really need them. He clearly need them, bro. I can't lie because you don't know where the goal is. He just doesn't know where the goal is, bro. No, I mean, it's either that or he's just not getting chances. I don't know which one it is, but yeah, um, we, we already know about the stats in it. Like, I'm not even going to talk about these stats. Yeah, man in stats is just phenomenal. Like, I have to talk about the stats. This in either footed, man's banging it left foot, right foot with finishing of 19, long shots of 60. Man's got a pivot of a cam, but he's a striker. It doesn't make sense, but it makes a lot of sense, bruv, because he's just a madness, bruv. Just, just the best striker that I've probably ever seen, like, live ever. I'll be real, but yeah, man, like Harry Kane. Um, and, and don't get it twisted. I did not get to see Henri. I didn't get to see them, man. I'm fucking too young. I just turned 19, big up myself. But anyway, man, like Harry Kane, very good player, though. Very, very good player, man. I'll be real. But um, for some reason, under um, Southgate's wing right now, it's just not working, bruv. I don't know what it is, but it's not working anyway. Let's line up um, England the way I will line them up in it. Let's, let's, let's see this, bruv. And this is how I am lining up England, bruv. Um, the tactic that I would do is Gigan press because you've got Sterling, Kane and Saka who are good at pressing. Grealish as well. Um, and, and in the midfield, Henderson amount, mad aggression, mad work rate in there as well. And defensively, it's good as well. So let me start from goalkeeper. We've got Pickford in going to goalkeeper defending, doing his thing, you know, just stopping shots mainly. That's his main focus, just to stop shots. Left back, I know he's injured in game in real life. He's fit, man, like Luke Shaw. I'm putting him left back because I think he's probably the most competent one for the way I would want to play in it. But yeah, um, Ben White, you get me? I'm putting him on that left-hand side on cover because man's got the movement to do it. 
good good tackling, mad technical ability. You would never have to like clear the ball because these men will all be composed under the under the pressure in it. Like they'll all be composed, bruv. It's mad. And next to him, we've got men like John Stones. It sounds mad, but it's true. Like that's what I would do still because them two together is gonna be a mad partnership in terms of like football. Like they just know how to read each other so well. For effect in this game, they will win it. I don't know about real life, but they must have to. Nah, nah, try that in real life, please, Southgate. Because I actually want to see that, bruv. That would be mad. But anyway, next you've got man like Reese James at right back. I couldn't really put Kyle Walker there, not willingly, man. Because because I just think going forward, Reese James is just different gravy and Trippier too in it. To be fair, but yeah, um, mad mad physicals. He's 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 the right back, man. Like Reese James. Midfield, deep line playmaker, Henderson. You get me, man, put him there. I could have put Declan Rice, but I was like, let me allow him. Let, let me put um Henderson there in it. I think he's just, um I, I can't really say it. Like, man's just mentally just different gravy, in it? So, man, man, have to put um Henderson there. Combining him with Mount as a box to box midfielder, that that intensity in that midfield is mad. Then Grealish as an advanced, as, no, 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 no. As an attacking midfielder on attack, that's what I'm putting Grealish on. Um, like man, just I know he hasn't really got the best decisions, but I have to do it in it. Like I have to do it. It's either him or Foden at the cam. I'll be real. Um, Sterling cutting inside, in, inside forward, bruv. Like man's just a little striker playing a bit wider. That's all he really is. Um, Saka. Um, I'll be, I'll be real. It's out of Saka and Foden on that right hand side for me. And for me, I'm gonna put Saka there right now. Um, it's probably a bit of my bias. I'll be real, but yeah, it's it's my eleven in it. So yeah. Um, anyway, man, um, Saka is playing on that right-hand side still. You already saw his performance yesterday. And then up front, we've got Kane on the pressing forward. I don't know how Southgate utilises him now. I, know, I don't know if he asks him to drop, drop a bit deeper or something, but whatever he's doing right now is not working. He needs to get Kane a bit more forward in it. Like He, he definitely does in it. So yeah, man, like Harry Kane is leading that line. And that is how I'm lining up England. That team will definitely compete for the World Cup. I mean, Euros, bruv. Man, man will compete for that still, for a fact, bruv. Um, and I might as well drop it now, man got a world cup coming with the friends in it like man's got a world cup coming still so yeah you see like how the online um career mode was like planned out that's how it's going to be with my friends and the world cup bruv but yeah um we'll, we'll be doing that one soon just watch out for that one i've got more videos coming soon you man make sure you join the discord link in the description and yeah if you like that video like that video subscribe to the continue what to expect from me and i'll see you in the next episode bruv safe